the sport of wrestling means almost everything to me. And uh, I do it every day, and I love it. It's part of my life. Uh, overall goal for the team coming into the season was uh, qualify for the state sectional tournament. Um, have a good showing in, uh, in A-South. Um, I knew going in Southern and Jackson were, were going to be tough. And I wanted to be in those matches and compete hard and you know, make sure we were ready you know, come postseason. That's always the goal. Uh, this, this preparation has been a long time going um, straight through. I mean, from the time you end one season to the time you get going to the next one, it's, it's nonstop. Um, from summer camps to summer duels to off-season duels to past state tournaments. I mean, we went everywhere last summer, last spring. Duration's been ongoing. It's a year-round round deal here at North, and, uh, and that's what it takes. That's what it takes to be good in New Jersey. That's kind of what we embrace. You know, it's going to be hard, but like it's going to be uncomfortable. But we got to be be comfortable in those uncomfortable situations. You know, that that's kind of the thing we go by. I really kind of learned and progressed as a person because it taught me not only about keeping your mindset right, uh, eating healthy, staying in shape, but in the, in the long run, it teaches you like hard work and you know what, if you want a goal, you gotta, you gotta get it, it's not earned. You just gotta, what's it called, you just gotta power through it. Um, yeah, when you get into some tough grinds in January, it's it's hard to come in every single day and be like pedaled down 100 miles an hour. This is what we're doing, and this, these are going to be the results. I mean, a lot of guys are dealing with different things, and sickness and injuries. And, I mean, it's a whole team perspective that you got to look at. And uh, and there's days when you come in and guys don't really want to go hard that day, and you got to kind of get a read on your team, and know what's good for them at certain times, and when to push them and when to lay off. And, and it's a fine balance straight through. But I mean, there were days when we come in and, and it's just, all right, we're just gonna get a light drill today. We're gonna get some games going today. And then we're gonna get out of here early so they come back with a better attitude tomorrow. And sometimes you gotta back off to, to push hard the next day. After Howell coming back, I mean, guys felt good about the effort we put forward. I mean, I know we came up short with a 34-26 loss in the South Virginia Five Semi, but guys felt good about where we were uh, wrestling wise. We had a lot of big individual wins in that match. Um, some of our senior leadership kind of shown through and guys that believed that we could actually come out and win the duel. I mean, it showed through in the wrestling. They were fighting for each other. And that's, that's, that's like what family does. You know, you fight for each other. And, uh, and that's what our guys were doing. And I mean, I don't know if all 14 guys completely believed we were in a duel with Howell. I mean, especially with all their you know, 78 straight win streak matches and the number three team in New Jersey. And, all these you know studs straight across their lineup um but you know we kept preaching guys that we can do this like look we'll lay it out we'll show you where we can win where we can fight hard and it's possible and i think as the week of practice went on leading into it you know a couple days leading into it guys were like all right maybe we got a shot and then as the match progressed guys started believing okay maybe we can do this you know maybe we maybe we do belong with the new jersey elite really a small army goes into what we do here i mean it's not like one guy is is pulling all the strings here. I mean, I got a great coaching staff, um, you know, with Vinny Casenzo, Josh Huber, and Connor Malik. And those guys are high energy guys that care about what we're doing here. So, I mean, if, if I'm not around to, to, you know, to take care of every little detail in here, I feel absolutely confident that those guys are, are here to back us up and, and they'll get the job done even if I'm not around. Um, so it's, it's good to have that support system. Those guys are great, great people to have. You know, wrestling is a lot more than a sport to me. It's just something I love. You know, it's something that gets me up in the morning. It's something that keeps me going. It's something that gave me discipline. It gave me focus. It let me hone my heart. It let me hone my, hone my deter determination. And I don't think I'd be where I am without it. I'm just living my best life right now. I'm ready to go. I'm in the best shape of my life. And I'm honestly, I'm ecstatic. I'm having so much fun. Best time of my life. That's what it means to me. 
we do all the right things, you know. We wrestle together as a team. Um, we went up to Rutgers camp, you know, we won that. We went to summer duels, we won that. You know, all these kids have been wrestling with them, so, with each other for like 10 years. So it's, uh, you know, it's time. It's, it's our time now. Our four seniors this year are, you know, four guys that are going to be, you know, really, really missed when they're gone. And, and our senior leadership was, was at a point this year where it hasn't been in the past 10 years. And it kind of showed through straight through. Um, guys that are, you know, getting on each other to work harder and do the right things when coaches weren't around. Um, and, you know, it all added up into a pretty successful season. But those guys, you know, Louis Gagliardo, Nick Riley, Jack Oleski and Sal Antonazzi, I mean, those guys, they're, they're grinders and they've been a part of this from the beginning, you know, and, and each one of them, you know, I would go to bat for in a second. Um, in the districts, we had a real good attitude. It was a real good week of practice. Um, districts changed again this year, so we were trying to get our bearings on where we were going, time frame, you know, travel distance, all that kind of thing. Um, we knew we were down there in that Paulsboro district and they're finished number two or two in the state. They're a real good, real good team highlighted with state place winners all over it. Um, you know, but we we knew going down there that you know, it's not like whether we belong or not anymore. We were a team that belongs, you know, with any team in New Jersey. So going down there, we weren't intimidated by any means, but we knew we were in for a fight to get some guys through to the regions. Um, so, I mean, we had a real good week of practice. Guys got their weight under control real easy that week because it was just five straight days of good practices. And, uh, you know, we went in with the right attitude and guys were ready to go and then they perform. There's always upsets. There's always things that don't go how you plan them to go. Um, but we had guys fight hard, you know, in the wrestle backgrounds especially to earn their right to go to the region. And, uh, and the seven guys that qualified, you know, they were absolutely deserving. I mean, those guys bust their ass straight through the year, you know, to get to that point. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's the, the way it should be, you know, to finish your season. Yeah, I mean, just looking at our senior leadership we had this year, I mean, those guys I mentioned before, Louis Gagliardo, Nick Riley, Jack Oleski, and Sal Antonazzi, I mean, those guys are guys that embrace the grind from an early time in their careers. Um, I mean, there's guys that came in here with talent. I mean, Biggs had talent, Louis had talent. You know they were gonna be good. Um, Antonazzi was new to wrestling. He was a soccer player growing up. He did different things. He got into wrestling his freshman year. And the same thing with Jack. He did other things, and he really picked up wrestling through middle school and into his freshman year. And um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter where you start. I mean, guys started with talent. Guys started, you know, bottom of the barrel, trying to figure this sport out. And um, I mean, you look at a guy like Jack and the amount of ground he's made up over the last four years. I mean, it says something to guys coming in here. It doesn't matter, you know, what's happened before this. You guys can make something out of yourself if you want to. I've learned self-discipline, mental and physical toughness, and just having confidence in everything I do. To just continue to attack, continue to score points. All right, we're, we're not a team that sits back or plays the edge. We're a team that attacks for the entire six minutes. Hey, uh, boys, just, uh, you know, wrestle your match. Keep attacking the entire time and good things will happen. This was a record setting type incredible year for Tom River North. I mean, 20 and four dual meet record is, is the best record I can, I can find going back as far as I can in the record books. And um, I mean, a number, number one in A South for our first divisional title ever. I mean, it was just an incredible, incredible journey for these guys and, and I want them to understand that it's not the end. I mean, this is the beginning of what we're trying to get through. And when we're still chasing that number one in New Jersey um, ranking, that's where we want to be. That's the ultimate goal, be the best team in New Jersey. So, I mean, we keep chasing that. We keep uh, keep getting better the way we have been over the past couple of years. Um, I think the program's at a point where it's going to continue winning. These guys are going to, you know, see the benefits of all their hard work. Yeah.